Here's how to open the control center on your Apple Watch running on any watchos. I am Carly, and I will see how to access and fix it if it won't open, for watchos 9 and earlier. Swipe up your finger from bottom edge to top you see the control center, and watchos 10 and later. Press the side button, just below the digital crown button to open the control center. That's quick ways to open control center on your Apple Watch for all models. Suppose your Apple Watch is stuck and freeze the screen and won't open control center, then try the first solution is hard reboot your Apple Watch. Press and hold the digital crown button and side button until you see the Apple logo on the screen. This process will take a few minutes and fix the issue automatically. Still, the issue is not fixed and comes up repeatedly. Then, check for software updates. Bro, get the latest watchOS update. Ensure your paired a phone is updated to the latest iOS version. To check this, launch the settings app on your iPhone and scroll to general and software update. Download and install latest iOS. Once the installation is finished, update watchOS on your Apple Watch. Before that, make sure your Apple Watch is connected to iPhone and internet over Wi-Fi. To update watchOS of your Apple Watch, Press the digital crown button to move your Apple Watch home screen. Tap on the settings app gear icon and scroll to general and software update. Wait for a few seconds and download any pending watch shows on your Apple Watch. If you're showing Apple Watch is up to date, then nothing to do. Follow the next solution. The third solution is to reset your Apple Watch. If restarting doesn't help, try resetting your watch. Go to the settings app on your Apple Watch by press the digital crown button. Tap on general then scroll to last and tap on reset. Now, tap on erase all content and settings. Enter your Apple Watch passcode and that's it. Before erasing starts, your Apple Watch takes a backup of your Apple Watch on your paired iPhone. So don't worry about the data. Pair again with your iPhone and get a fix. Get a full guide on pairing an Apple Watch with a separate video tutorial in the video description. If the issue persists, it might be a hardware problem. Contact Apple support or visit an Apple store for further assistance. I hope you like this vide. Also don't miss to like, share, and subscribe for more upcoming videos. Comment for more help, and super thanks for supporting us.